In this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to set up OpenSea Face inside of Waterdo. So that way you can have very simplistic webcam uh, mocap for your character. So while yes, I will say uh, there is media pipe uh, face tracking in Waterdo, which is of course more recommended to use as it utilizes ARKit blend shades. It can make you look a lot more expressive. And also you can of course use media pipe hand tracking as well. But there may be some people who prefer open sea face for stylistic reasons. So I will show you how to set up open sea face in this tutorial. Um, so pretty much what you're going to do is scroll all the way down uh, to where there's motion capture. You're going to click on the set up motion capture. Click on the uh, little button here for the face tracking template and select open sea face. Now I will say though, technically yes, um, the way that Waterdo is set up, it does have an AR kit mode for open sea face. However, it's not as good as media pipe. The sort of benefit that this has is that you can widen your eyes, you have a little extra movement with your eyebrows, um, and of course you can utilize jaw open and mouth funnel for the mouth movements. But other than that, it doesn't really use all of the AirKit blend shapes. It only just uses a very few amount. So it's more recommend to actually use VRM instead as the tracking is much better for it. Otherwise you can use AirKit depending on what you prefer. But I prefer VRM for open sea face in this case. I'm going to set mine to be uh, the Elgato face cam here. You can of course have it where you can have your body head movements. If you're going to use it for full body tracking, then select no, but otherwise yes will be it. And of course you can configure the settings however you like. If you want lip sync by any chance, I have another tutorial that shows how to do it. But otherwise though, you can click on this, enable when, uh, have it always enable or enable when tr not tracking and such. So yeah, um, but either way, pretty much uh, you can set up lip sync. Click on OK, and then pretty much in the post tracking, you can set it to none and it'll still be fine. Or if you want to have webcam hand tracking, you can also choose that too. For this tutorial, I'll just say none for now. Um, but of course, there will be another tutorial about media pipe, uh, face, and hand tracking together. So yeah. But either way, let's click on OK. And then you're going to have this window that pops up right here for the open sea face. This is just a face tracker. You cannot click on the X button for it though. So you're going to have to minimize it so it will have to stay open. Um, no way to really close it unless uh, of course Waterdo gets an update to hide the window. But either way though, um, pretty much you're going to click on OK basically. And as you can see, your face tracking should work. It's definitely, again, really nice uh, if you want it for stylistic reasons and such. Um, or, of course, if you don't have the air kit blend shapes at all and maybe you don't prefer media pipe. Again, uh, it really depends on what you prefer, though. But at least it is an option if you prefer it. So, yeah. If by any chance you ever have an issue where after you set up Open Sea Face Tracker and for some reason your tracker is stuck on uh, Tracker Not Started basically, then pretty much in order to fix this issue, you're going to have to reset Wadudo and then try again at the whole Open Sea Face setup. Um, like you can go into character, set up the motion capture again if it still persists after a reset. Um, but otherwise though, hopefully after a reset, it should actually get the camera to be awake. So that way open sea face can be able to work. But it's something I've noticed a lot whenever like open sea face refuses to work basically. But either way though, you're going to go into open sea face tracker. And then here we have some settings to play with. So that way we can improve our tracking a little bit more. So basically what we're going to do is, um, you can of course set your tracking to be mirrored, um, otherwise you can set it to no. You can have the eyes be calibrated, so if you click the calibrate button, it will, um, it will basically reset your eye position. You can also configure blend shape mapping as well, but this is primarily for air kit blend shapes though, so if you have VRM blend shapes, this will not work for you though. Um, if you really want to configure your... Uh, your blend shapes, you'll have to do that via the blueprint though, which is right over here basically. Via the blueprint. So yeah. Um, but either way though, um, let's go ahead and make our body movements, you know, because right now we are looking a bit stiff so we can add a bit of some movement. So, head movement intensity, Y is referring to, um, 
basically moving up and down basically so we can increase this so we can move up and down more then we can of course have the x-axis higher for left and right movements if we want to move more and then the axis is referring to back and front like that uh well sort of but either way uh you can mess with the settings however you want basically but this should be the first step to making your tracking move more now there is maximal head trans this is referring to your max so if you increase the value it will make uh, it should hopefully increase your range but even then in my experience it didn't really do too much but uh, I'm pretty sure if you increase these really high you can like I guess sort of move higher but honestly I don't see much of a difference really in my personal preference or not personal preference but like what I see I don't really see much of a difference if you change it but again maybe it'll be different for your model though so yeah either way though um, what we're going to then do is um, we're going to have body movement intensity. So if you want to move more, more faster, you can increase this slider so that way you can move much more faster, basically. Then uh, for the head rotation intensity, if you, you know, you want your head to move more, the Y axis is referring to how, um, how easy you'll be moving left to right. X axis is referring to up and down. And then y-axis is referring to the tilt, basically. Pretty much. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Uh, and then maximal head rotation is referring to the max um, rotation, basically. So, the default should be fine, but if you want a little bit more movement, you can increase the range, basically. Um, but other than that, you, we also have head rotation. So, if you feel like, let's say, for instance, uh, my head is slightly... Um, you know not facing the front of me then i can increase um the offset to sort of help correct um the positioning basically so yeah eye movement intensity if by any chance your eyes are hardly moving you might want to increase this so that way your eyes can move more easily basically again i would not do it too much for open sea face though but otherwise it can help especially if you have bone based um eye tracking so yeah um, eye movement compensation. If you know how when you look in the mirror and you're always like staring at the mirror basically, um, but your eyes are like still in like the center sort of, I guess, sort of way. This kind of helps make your eye, uh, your eye placement look more natural. So if I increase it, it basically makes it where the eye, the eyes will basically like look more naturally. So instead of like when I rotate my head, the eyes are facing only front, uh, it actually give them more natural feel basically but even then I usually have mine at zero because I use uh well for my case I usually use a uh, blend shape eyes though um but other people may prefer eye bones basically so yeah but either way though um you can mess with it however you like eye blink sensitivity if your blinking is struggling a bit you may want to increase the eye blink sensitivity so it's much more your blinking uh it's much more stronger you can also have it where the linked eye blinking is a thing. So if by any chance you don't want to wink or anything like that, you can set it to be linked. So your blinking is much more natural, depending on your preference. Uh, limit eye squint is not really something that open sea face can really do much on, honestly. So this is pretty useless. Uh, you can, of course, disable eye bone movement and use blend shape eyes in case you have that set up. Uh, but, of course, what I'm seeing right now, it does not work. So I would personally say stick with bone eyes uh, for open sea face users because the blend shapes are not being detected. Like, technically, um, I think it's also because of the way I set up my model, too. Because uh, I think I... I used to have the look at blend shape applier for the VRM model. I used to have it, but then I removed it because of issues. So you might, uh, if you want to really use blend shape eyes, please make sure to replace your look at component on your VRM model in Unity. Uh, that way it can use blend shape eyes. But other than that, you should be fine with the bone eyes. Um, and of course, you do have these extra things here, of course. Uh, this is primarily if you use uh, the AR kit. Um, like the air kit settings uh, with open sea face basically so basically the offset you can change um, you know your blinking or your eyelid offset you can increase your sensitivity or decrease it eyebrow movement and so on this basically you could just click and drag and basically adjust your settings basically so yeah 
Um, but again, this is only applying if you have the error kit setting enabled. For my case, again, I personally prefer the VRM one, but again, if you want to use the error kit one for, um, for open C face, then I highly recommend please click and drag experiment with these settings. Um, cause you might be able to have like a nice, you know, look to your blend shape basically. But again, um, primarily for open C face, it's more best if you want the tracking for stylistic reasons or something like that. Or if you know, if you're using a uh, VC face and like, you really want to have the tracking from VC face into what it all basically like you want one of those features, but you want the VC face tracking, then pretty much this is basically it right here if by any chance that you feel like your movement is very sluggish or maybe you need some more smoothness in your tracking here's how you can do it go to blueprints select face tracking open c face and what you're going to do is you're going to hunt down the smoothness uh nodes right here so they're pretty much they're pretty much in this big gap here basically so over here in smooth position you can uh you can increase the smoothness so it's a little bit more smoother or you can decrease it so it can be a little bit jittery i usually recommend at least for open c face Face, you may want to actually increase your smoothness basically and then for rotation you can of course increase that as well that way your tracking is a lot more smoother and much more uh, better looking and um, pretty much also over here too there is of course blend shape smoothening so if I were to increase this it makes the blend shape very smooth but otherwise though if you decrease it um, it will basically make it where your tracking is more instant basically um, but that's pretty much uh, regarding like making your tracking either smooth or less smooth basically that's pretty much how you would do it so pretty much um, that's pretty much how you can set up open C face again you can of course mix open C face with other tracking methods uh, whether it's VMC whether it's um, whether it's uh, webcam hands with media pipe pretty much whatever you want to do uh, you can experiment and have fun but hopefully this tutorial helps you out regarding open c face tracking inside of Wadudo and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time bye bye